Hey folks, PC Outcast here, back with another build. Actually, this is a remastered version. So, um, the original build, the turtle, was an idea I came up with after fighting a Thalmor who used a dagger and a, and a shield instead of a sword, or axe, or, you know, mace, or whatever. And I thought it was pretty cool. Now, you can't stagger? Yeah, you can't stagger enemies with a dagger, but if you do a power attack, you get, like, two strikes. So it is really fairly powerful, and with Ordinator, daggers can get bleed damage, and you can stack that bleed damage. So it should be pretty cool to recreate it with Ordinator. So I'm also using um, Imperious Races and uh, Andromeda Standing Stones, so that um, creates a little bit of a different dynamic than what I had with the original build. The original build was actually used um, the Atronach Stone with... Um, and I kind of over overpowering it with the Fortify Restoration potions. So um, I was completely immune to magic, basically. Hey, Mac. And uh, in case the chat gets bombarded with bots again today, I do have Girl Got Game on standby, so she may be able to uh, jump in and do a little bit of moderating there. Things get really bad, I will just have to shut chat down, I guess. Or ignore it. Whatever. Alright, so we're starting out with some basic um, iron iron everything, pretty much. Iron dagger, iron shield, iron armor. I don't really look like the way the Dragonborn helmet looks on an Argonian. <laughs> but we're going to be changing that fairly soon. So let's... Uh, Kill some things. Oh, nice. Um, eh, grab that. Now I'm going to be doing mainly. Where are the other? Oh, there we go. I was wondering where the other mud crabs were. There should be another one around here somewhere. Get dead. Okay, so we're going to be doing mainly heavy armor, shield, one-handed, and the original build did, did use a fair bit of alchemy for... I'll take those. Did use a fair bit of alchemy for... for mainly for restoration, like uh, fortify health regeneration. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. It's the last Dragonborn! Dragonborn can be played if you play as a default Nord, given that you are at the beginning of the game. Oh no! Well, we're not doing the Dragonborn quest this time. Nah. Leveling up is happening. Yeah, eventually this character ends up with no... Like, can, can hardly take damage. Regenerates, pretty much regenerates health faster than he can take damage. And of course, the, the weak part of the build was that it was just using a dagger, right? You can only do so much damage with a dagger. But, with Ordinator being able to stack bleed damage, it's pretty cool. No, yeah, that's true. This is the... Oh. He, he's wearing the outfit. Actually, he's not wearing the outfit of the Dragonborn. The, in the trailer, the Dragonborn is wearing um, that light armor. What's it called? Um, oh, I can't remember. He's wearing the light armor along with the, like the light uh, chest armor along with the heavy gauntlets and things like that. So it's a bit of a mix. I guess you would call that... Um, medium armor? Question mark? Like a combination of light and heavy? Oh, I've got a... Wolf. I got a first level. Nice. And I think I will take his hide because I'm going to be using that for 
crafting. So, no magicka. So I'm thinking probably something like three to one health stamina. I think that would work pretty good. We won't worry about uh, alchemy right now. I'm gonna see if we actually need it. All right, so there's that, and then this is the, this is where the damage really starts stacking up at level 30. Uh, in the meantime, block heavy armor. Block or heavy armor, we're also gonna do smithing. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning, but we're gonna do this. That'll give us steel or bone mold. I've never actually made bone mold armor. I might, might actually do that. Which is the heavy... Oh, you don't have a heavy and light side? You know, I've, I hardly do smithing in my builds. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Um, so this side has... Merrick. Merrick, which is elven and chitin and dwarven. Okay, so we're gonna go up the dwarf side. That just reminds me that I, I wanna do a dwarven engineer build too. Uh, this one, Scaled, Plate, and Nordic, Ebony, and Stalrum, Daedric, and Dragonborn, or Dragonbone, and pour your Dragonborn blood into the fire at one forge. Forging an item in this forge empowers you, increasing attack damage, critical strike damage by 15%, and reducing attack damage taken by 15% for 1,800 seconds. Okay, okay, so you go in here, when you forge the item for the next 1800 seconds, you get this bonus. Eh, eh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Advanced Workshop does the thing that allows you to take it to a higher level. Recycled materials, 50% 50, 50 chance to retain any materials you spend at an advanced, advanced grindstone or workbench. Oh, I thought this was the thing where you could, like, smelt down armor. Hmm. My favorite race. Um, I do tend to play... I mean, it's kind of boring, but I do tend to play Nords a lot, just because Nords are, like, you know, the main race in Skyrim. Um... I mean, obviously for mage builds, I like to do Altmer or, or Breton. Uh, I don't really play Argonians very much, although I have, uh, I am playing one now and I did just play the lusty Argonian maid uh, not too long ago. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of like red guards, except that they're, they're, they're not really very strong. So I do like the idea of using a red guard as like a pilgrim or a swordsman type of character. So I do have an idea for a for a cool red guard build too. So we might get to that one day. When you draw your weapon, it's automatically sharpened. Yeah, this is some pretty good stuff, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Heavy armor, more of that, block. Block more damage. Well, yeah. Studded armor. Thank you, Dragonborn. So in the uh, branded iron, yeah, a branded iron shield, and in the concept art, he is wearing the gauntlets, but in the trailer, he doesn't. Yeah, for like, I also like uh, Bosmer for if you're gonna play like um, you know, like a like an archer, a woodsman archer type of build. I like that one too. That that also works. I think I'm gonna go with heavy armor for it now. All right, on we go. Map updated. Forsaken cave. Now there should be a. Sometimes there's a bear here. 
Sometimes it's a wolf. And sometimes there's apparently nothing. I hear wolves. Something ran off up here, but I don't know what happened to it. Oh, we're getting been attacked from all sides. Nice. Survival. Yeah, let's definitely level up while we're still alive. Alright. Well, can't put any more into heavy armor at the moment. So, block it is... Somebody quite some time ago went uh, went and did a build uh, where they tried to recreate the Dragonborn from the trailer, and uh, you know it's a bit of a you take a hit, right? Because light armor and heavy armor, you don't get the perks for wearing all light and heavy. Where's that guy going? Running away. Yeah, Dunmers are cool, too. I really like the changes that Imperious races and the... Uh, um, Andromeda Stones makes, too. They give the opportunity to... Kinda, kinda injured here. Oh, I just took a injury to my spine. That's that's bad. Oh, and I'm dead. Yeah, Morrowind is fantastic. All right. Well, that was not good. Morrowind game is still great. Still my favorite. Just the the lore of the whole place, the atmosphere, the varied climates, all of that. It is kind of hard to get into um, now because there's so much reading involved, and it's hard to go back from Skyrim to that, but. Yeah, don't worry, this... It might start off kind of weak playing with only a dagger, but eventually this is going to become very powerful. I'd like to take these guys on one at a time. Oh, that guy has... It's a. It's not an orc this time with a two-handed sword. Interesting. Never should have come here. Yes. Where's the, uh, the archer? Oh, he ran all the way over here? Huh. Okay. Let's see what you've got. Oh, oh, head injury, head injury. Yeah, he's done. Where's the where's the archer now? There he is. Phew. Oh. Ah. Well, that went better. Give me that, and uh, I'll take those and sell them. And we'll level up. More health. 
Uh, oh, nice. Okay, so we got level two for that. We got um, half fall damage. Sure, I'll dump one in there. And block, we can do level two block more damage or timed block. Assume a defensive position for one second after raising your shield or weapon. Blocking 30% more damage and staggering attackers in melee range. If you do not block an attack during this time, you cannot attempt another time block for two seconds. Hmm. Hey, Ether, this is actually one of my builds, believe it or not. Did uh, Mason do a turtle build, too? I don't remember that. Um... You can make NPCs in this game? I didn't realize that. <laughs> Assume a defensive position for one second after raising your shield or weapon. Do I want to do timed blocks? Do I want to do more? Oh, you know what? I want to put a perk in there so that I'm ready to go and we get to level 30 for that. And, well, let's go this way. We're going to run into some frostbite spiders, but... That'll be okay. Oh, why did I just slow down? There it is. Oh, wow, that was quick. Um, at the moment, I'm just using a... I'll take that. At the moment, I'm just using a... Uh, an iron dagger. Um, in the original build, the final kit was all orcish. So, orcish dagger, orcish shield, orcish armor. Should be another... Uh, Another spider around here. Hmm. Oh. Something's spitting at me. There it is. It's only a level three. We should be okay. Oh, we're getting spat at from the other side, too. Yes? No? Oh, yep. Where? Where are you? Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, they're only small ones. That's good. Ah, poisoned. Okay. Yeah, if you, like, make your own mod sort of thing. Hey, Anne. What are you editing right now? More stamina. All right, so we can do more damage, more crit. Yeah. You can also use, uh, is it Last of the Dragonborn that allows you to, um, to like store your character and turn them into an NPC in your next game? That's pretty cool. Ah, editing an econ paper. That sounds like fun. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream. Hmm. I'm going to leave that. Yeah, let's do timed block. I wonder if I can take these this bandit fort out. No, there's um 
there's a mod that allows you to like whatever character you're currently playing you can like store them in like an alcove and then when you start another game another character you can go back and you can get those people get that character as a follower it's really pretty crazy actually All right, guys. Is that a mage? I don't want to get shot at. While uh, I'm getting gang arrows. Nah, we got two. We got two. <laughs> All right. So we'll just. Pull them out here. Take you out. Oh, you're only level. Ow. Okay, you're done. Good. And I'm staggered. Ow. Oh, how did you kill me? What? What? No. That is unacceptable. I refuse to accept defeat. Cool. Yeah, I never, I've never gotten into the construction kit. Hello. You guys wanna, wanna come fight? Hey, you're dead. I uh, might as well loot you. Yeah, take that. Yeah, come on back here. Perfect. Okay, you're dead. I'm getting shot at, though. Hey, Candace. So you can, um, I know that you were asking about uh, vanilla uh, characters before. So this, although this is a ordinator remaster, uh, there's a link in the description to the original build. So you can definitely play this thing in, uh, in um, vanilla. No problem. There we go. Trying to keep our distance from the archers. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna taunt me? Oh, actually. Level up. More health. And, oh, so close. <laughs> Need to get one handed up a little bit more. Hey, did I get hit by a... Wait. Did my one-hander just go up? No, it didn't. It was something else. It was still taking pot shots at me from over there. There we go. Finally, can stack bleed damage on people. That will help a lot. Uh, and no, let's let's do that. You can probably make a lot of NPCs. You can also just like console command a whole bunch of like the auto-generated ones. Now she's gonna slowly tick down on health. Ugh, Archer finally. Ow! Do you mind? Okay, 
Okay, you're done. Oh, come on! After all that... <sighs> I was doing so well. Spawn a hundred Nazims. Oh, that's a nightmare. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I gotta do this over again. Come on, it was so close. Okay, you're done. Uh, take that, 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 and that. Okay, here comes the... I'm not, I don't want to get shot at by the archers. The two... Got two of these guys coming this time, though. Just like smashing buttons like crazy. Um, okay. I can't remember what I had already selected. <laughs> Bandits could be tough, but a hundred Nazims, oh. Okay, you're you're dead. Staggered, staggered. Damn it. Got archers to deal with now. Did I finally get, oh, thank goodness. Give me that and sure, give me more damage. And block, sure, there we go. Got it. And now you're gonna start. I don't think there's any other archers here. Oh, there's there's like three people here somewhere. Ow! Ow! Somebody is shooting me from front and back. Oh, there you are. Let's get out here. I think she. Did she bleed to death over there? <laughs> no, that's an archer. Huh. I got just two, that's just the two archers. Okay. Oh, are you out of arrows? Nice. Wait. That went better. Oh, there you are. Oh, get that dagger right in the face. Oof. Ah. That's gotta hurt. Okay. Well, that went well. I, I mean, it, well, went better. Take just that one. The other stuff's too heavy. All right, level up. Nice, nice. I'll take it. Uh, block is, I think, as good as it's gonna get for right now. Heavy armor, same. We're just about to get thirty, so we can do that. Battle weary, tired enemies have a harder time defeating your armor. You take up to twenty percent less damage. Well, as their so as their stamina drops, you take less damage. Good. Yeah, could have been worse. Could have taken a lot longer than it did. So that one's done. Can't do that. Attacks with dagger deal more damage if you rapidly hit them. Resets every two seconds. Ah, oh, you play on console. Um. Do you play on PlayStation or uh, Xbox? Because um, 
that Last of the Dragonborn thing might be available on uh, on Xbox. It's definitely not available on. Well, I don't think it's available on PlayStation. All right, I will. Mm, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that. Hold off with that. Um, that perk. Temporarily. Now there should be guys in here, usually. No? What was that? Yeah, downstairs. There we go. Let's make a nice little. <laughs> huh, there's a little kill zone. Perfect. Oh, and yeah, the original bartender. What is the story with this? Like, they're bandits, but I mean, who was running this place? Why did they kill the bartender? Yeah, somebody else was just mentioning that they were, they were playing um, Skyrim on the 360. And unfortunately, no access to mods, but they were still having a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, they're saying that they really can't be bothered with... Um, they have the money to buy a really nice gaming computer, but they don't game enough to make it worthwhile. I'm like, well, if a 360 is scratching all of your gaming itch needs, then uh, no point in just wasting money. Hello. A level one bandit with a axe. No, you seem to be um, taking a lot of damage yourself there. <laughs> Charging too much for the beer. That's unfortunate. Are those worth taking? Well, I guess they are. Uh, that's a lot of stuff on the... Is there somebody in here? Oh, there's several people in here. Hey, we got level up in heavy armor, so we'll put that in uh, fit. There you go. There's a you just completely messed me, dude. It's two Dragonborns! Oh, he's got a lot of health and he's staggering me, rather. Oh, he's done. Nice. Level that up. And uh, we could do this. Or we got deflect arrows. It's a possibility. We've also got poke the dragon. After a successful timed block within eight feet, you may retaliate with increased strength and uh, increasing your attack and crit damage against the attacker by 25%. That is nice. Um, yeah, we're not at a point of being able to do that. 
Um, smithing. I mean, we do need to do smithing, right, at some point. I don't know if I want to start spending points in it yet. Really not sure about that. So I think we'll go with Puck the Dragon for now. Okay. So there's an archer over there trying to trying to get me from the from the angles. Hey, I got a steel. Oh, wait. This should be better than what I've got, I think. Let's check that out. Oh yeah. I started off the uh, the game with ancient Nord armor, but it's the same as the iron armor, so Anyway, this one does blocks 29, and this blocks 31. Yes, indeed. We will take that. And iron dagger, steel dagger. Um, no. I guess I want to get rid of... Uh, I definitely want to drop that. And I'll I'll drop that. It's not really worth it. And I'll drop that as well. It's not wear, worth the weight. There we go. Oh, we don't actually don't actually have the stuff equipped. Give me this. Nice. More damage. Oh. Well, he died in two hits. Okay. What are you doing with an amethyst, man? What's in here? Just nothing? Storage? Some storage for hay? And I already took your stuff. Good. Okay. Well, we're doing substantially more damage already. Oh, that was... I thought I almost stepped on... on death there for a minute. No, I don't want to do that. Should have actually installed the... Uh... Well, hello, Skeevers. I should have installed the... Um... lock overhaul so that I could just smash things open. So the basic idea of the build is high defense, high health regeneration. That's why I chose a uh, Argonian for the Hist skin. But eventually you're going to end up with um, a uh, ring and necklace of revival, which increases health regeneration by 100%. And um, and then it's, it's just like I got the idea when I was fighting a Thalmor that had a dagger and shield instead of a sword and shield or whatever. And I thought it was kind of cool to be able to do those quick attacks while protecting yourself with like a lot of heavy armor and block. So that is the general idea. That goes outside. And it turns out to be pretty powerful. Oh. What was going on here? Dead skeevers, dead bodies? Huh. Poison? A bunch of... torture? Things? Oh, and then healing to heal them up so you can torture them again? That's sick. That's really sick. Oh, hello. Banded armor. That should be better than what I've got. And take, oh man, take all this stuff to sell. Nice. Banded armor versus iron armor. The downside of banded, banded armor is I don't I think I can uh, improve it. Not at least not as easily as the other birds. Oh. Ow! Really? I took damage from falling from that height. What? Is it because I'm wearing heavy armor? 
Maybe that's why I need this. Cushioned. Hey Chaz, I am doing pretty good. And the stream is going much better. I haven't been bombarded with um, with uh, chat bots that are like swearing their faces off. That was unpleasant yesterday, to say the least. Hello. What? No, I should have. I should have installed the uh, violins and disabled player kill cams like that. That sucks. Oh boy, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm getting completely boxed in. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, they're like targeting the, uh... Nope, nope, nope. Oh, wow. There's, there's so many, so many angry, angry red dots. If I could just take them on one at a time. I'm fine against one. Two. Two two-handed guys, like, swinging away. Ah. This is, yeah, this is, this is no good. No. Oh, 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 come on. I'm trying to step out the door. They're just like, slash, slash, slash. This is just ridiculous. They're all two-handers, too. They're all freaking two-handers. Stop murdering me. not very happy with me being here, are they? Now that one guy should have um, bled to death. Because he took like a lot of stacked bleed damage. This guy's almost done. Okay, you're done. Oh, no, you're not quite yet. You're dead. Hmm. <coughs> Uh, health, not good. And there's that bloody um, kill cam. I hate those kill cams because they just it just locks you into the animation. Is this guy? Yeah, this guy. Come on. Come. Yeah. We'll finish you off. Why is he not taking stacking bleed damage? Come on, come on. Die, hero. Uh, ow, 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 such stagger, such stagger. Oh, he is so much better at wielding his uh, two-hander. That I am at blocking. It's one thing that irritates me about Skyrim is these two-handers. They are so, so much more powerful than you can be with a two-hand. Like, you can't, there's no way you can wield a two-handed weapon like a dagger like they do. Impossible. So I can do this. Of course, they're burning through a lot of stamina, so that might actually be a good thing to take. Still can't do anything more with that. Uh, block is, other than deflect arrows, we're pretty much 
maxed out there. I think we'll, I'll go ahead with this. They should do a little bit less damage as uh, as they crack my skull. <laughs> okay, let's take uh, deflect arrows too. And while blocking with a shield, arrows do half damage. Arrows that hit the shield do no damage. Bleeding to death. May sure have mercy on your soul. So they were fairly weak at this point. Any more over there? Whoop. What the heck? All right, are they done? Did I get um, sick or anything? No? for some crafting supplies. Hey, spores! Ah! So many skeevers. My end game name is Turtle. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, unimaginatively the- oh! Pfft. The turtle build is the turtle. Children's an- an- an odd? What does that mean? Okay, so while you're taking a dump, you're reading that? Uh, no. Should be Raphael. You know what, I could always change it. Cheese. Cheese! No, you know what? Let's do that right now. Here a mage. Goodbye, Ninja Turtle. Oh, she is so blood covered. That's oh, oh my. Wow, that's that's unfortunate. Okay. Anything interesting here? Kind of doesn't look like it. Just loot. Lots of loot. Give me, give me that coin. Okay. So she was the bandit chief. Just a bandit outlaw up here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the race menu, it's that race menu mod, so it should be okay. I've never had it screw up my uh, my whole build, so. 
Fingers crossed. Alright, well, we cleared that place out. I actually don't have the, uh, the spiky, uh, that spiky shield. That is a good option for this build. Actually, this build is kind of a bit of a collector of, uh, of specialized shields. So you can have, you know, the, the one for fighting mages and the one for fighting vampires and the one for fight, for causing people to bleed and... Argon born. There is one they fear. He is called Argon born. Why do I slow? D oh, I was wondering why am I slowing down when I go into combat? It's because I've got um, the steeds down. So the steeds down. Yeah, it gives you 40% increased movement when you are out of combat. There's a lot of archers here, man. Ow. Ow, I keep dropping it at the wrong time. Oh, that worked. You're done. Totally done. How how do I get up there? Give me that stuff. Fall to your death. There you go. Oh, nice. He Found his range. Ow! Or she did. Oh, you're fast. Oh, you are so fast. <gasps> uh. <sighs> that blows. Oh, what a shame. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, ow. Okay, you're done. Dodge, dodge. Bleeding to death. Oh, she's she's missing. She's so damn fast with that axe. Whew. Ah, yes, that was an epic fall. Just slide down. A corundum ore, I could probably use that. Necklace? Sure. I uh, don't need that. Oh, I leveled. Nice. Yeah, more health. Uh, block is currently maxed. We're going to get perform time perform a time block to mitigate incoming fire, frost, and shock spells. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Like, how do you time a block against a shock spell? 
That just seems impossible. And we have everything there. Oh, but we do have 25% more damage if you hit rapidly the target three or more times. Sure. Why not? Now, we're going to have a bandit chief, I'm assuming. Yes. Hello. Oh, it's a... It's an orc. See, that, that is something I despise. They can just lock you into uh, a kill cam and you have no chance. Zero chance whatsoever. Doesn't matter how much health you have. Doesn't matter how much you thought, yeah, like there. Oh man, I hate that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to um, lo log out. I guess log out isn't really the right word. I'm going to step outside here, save, go out, install violins, and uh, stop that crap from happening. I'll be right back. Yeah, I mean, it would, would make sense. Most orcs are complete badasses, so they become the chief of any bandit group they join up with. Uh, okay, did that uh, install? Oops. Not yet. Have to wait for it to activate, I guess. Sometimes that takes a little while, sometimes it's quick. There we go. Um, player kill move immunity. Thank you very much. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, if they actually kill me, they have to actually kill me. They can't just lock me into a, um, a kill animation. Oh, 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 oh. Oof, yeah. He recovers so fast, man. Yeah. That stacking bleed damage isn't easily blocked, though. And he has new armor and gauntlets and boots. I'm carrying too much. Right. Okay, let's, uh, let's see how this looks. So, we've got, I guess we'll go with uh, armor. There we go, steel armor. Gauntlet, boots, and shin guard. Sorry, um, gauntlets and boots. So these are the imperial ones. Okay, drop that. Um, oh, drop that. There we go. 
I don't know. The, the Imperial... The Imperial stuff doesn't really go with the steel, but... Eh, yeah, whatever. And... okay. Oh, wait. Was that a... That's an Arkish dagger. Hey. Okay, that does a little bit more damage. Uh, let's add that to our to our thing, like that. Nice. Arkish dagger. Sweet. Some health potions. You know, I might as well uh, leather strips. Yes. No, none of the other stuff. I think that's all okay. I should probably add this to my uh, favorites, just in case I need some, you know, some health in a pinch. Hmm. I didn't think about playing this in Oblivion. That's a good idea. Let me know how it goes. Uh, when this, either when this stream is done, um, or when I do the build video of this, let me know how it how it works out in Oblivion. That'd be cool. I have a mine in here. This, this must have been a pretty important mine to... Uh, you can't hide from me. Pretty important mine to have a, a whole... Oh, oh, oh dear. To have an entire fort built over it. He's, he's done. Ow, 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 ow. Archers, archers killing me. Archers killing me. More health. Hey, we're almost level 40. What does that do for us? We got uh, rallying standards. So that gives you more armor, more damage. It's more for having allies, but... Train to deflect incoming attacks. Whenever your enemy attacks you, you gain armor. That's kind of cool. Face of death lets us not wear a helmet, but that is not for this build. This build is definitely a helmet wearer. Immune to basic melee weapon perks. Born to fight. Yeah. Oh, I can't take that one anyway. Alright, so we've got those, basically. Those we've got Rallying Standard and Defiance is coming up. Block is... we could do... I do do a fair bit of power bashing. Uh, you... Oh, I, do, I don't do power... I'm just doing regular bashes. Able to do power bash by holding down attack while blocking. Bashing does more damage per stamina. Thing is, on higher difficulty levels, this the amount of damage this does is kind of me. Yeah, somebody was talking about uh, being able to dual wield shields uh, for this build. That would be kind of cool. Just do all your damage with uh, like bleed on your shield and power bashes, basically. All right, I still don't really... I've never been able to successfully block a uh, an incoming spell like this, but you need to take it to get to these other things. Three successful time blocks in a row will restore 75 points of stamina. That's pretty sweet. After a successful time block, bashing the attacker within five seconds does double damage. Yeah, I'm kind of heading in that direction, but I won't bother spending it right now. So we don't have enough points to go further up. And this is going to be coming available. Forwards power attacks. I'm not really doing power attacks. I don't do a lot of power attacks at all with this build, actually. 
So, I'm thinking, we'll actually put a point into this for when we do some, uh, some of that. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm over encumbered. Damn it. Alright, just take... I guess I'll take that. That's fairly good. Leave those. Let's leave... The heaviest stuff that is not worth anything. Oh, yeah. I'm up to steel armor anyway, so... Mm, well, I'll get rid of that. And we're okay. I really do need to get myself to a town to sell some stuff off. What is this? Just iron ore? Really? So bandits took over... Oh. Heavy armor. Like that. Um, yeah. So bandits took over a simple iron mine. Huh. Is that really all that's here? They also set off their own trap, I notice. Just iron. Oh, they did get a garnet. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I guess that's all there is to this place. Yeah, that bleed damage, man, does that ever make a big difference to this build? Because normally, you know, obviously a dagger doesn't do a whole lot of damage. That's why, I, that's part of the reason I used alchemy in the original build. So you can poison your dagger. All right, um, let's... Actually, I don't... I can't actually fast travel to any towns. I just have to continue making my way towards Dawnstar. Yeah, the boost to uh, the steed... The speed with the steed is pretty cool. Uh-oh. We got... We got... Spider. Right. Level! Yeah, alchemy is quite powerful. All right, we got this, so let's move. I mean, we might as well take defiance. Extra armor rating there. And I'm a little ways away, yeah, quite a ways away from any of these, so. Yeah, I'll hold off on that. I guess, I guess we're gonna have to be doing a little bit of smithing when we get to town. It's really weird to suddenly drop your speed when you're like, you're just like, do 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 Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you can simply attack me. Yeah, I was planning on playing. Oh, does anybody know of a afflicted race mod? for special edition, because I was going to play as an afflicted, um, especially because there is, for legendary edition, there is a, um, uh, there's a mod that creates a shout so that you can do their spit, their, like their vomit attack thing. <laughs> Bitten in the butt here. I don't think that mod is available at all for special edition, unfortunately. But I was thinking maybe if there's a 
Maybe there's an afflicted race mod for it. I could kind of get a little bit. Like maybe they added that ability as like a spell or something. You can spit acid as an as an Argonian. Is that like a once a day power or is it at will? If it's at will, that would be pretty cool. I guess it's... Well, it's not that late. Somebody should be open. See if this guy's around or if he is... See, he's gone to bed. Okay, well, I guess we're taking the carriage somewhere. Oh, oh, hello, hello. I've been looking for you. Once a day, that's too bad. Your hands I mean, it's cool, but it's kind of too bad. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Yeah, because it's another build that um, someone, I can't, unfortunately I didn't write down who they're uh, the username, but someone asked me to play after watching the Plague Doctor build. They wanted me to do a Plague Knight, so somebody who would use uh, poison and disease on their... They use poison spells, a poisoned and disease enchanted axe, and uh, would have the afflicted shout so you can throw up on people, basically. Um, but unfortunately that mod was never ported over to Special Edition. And I have no idea how to, sp how to port mods. Is that guy having fun? What? What? A wolf? Came? Can't sleep well no matter how much drink I put in me. Hmm. That's, uh... Odd. No, I don't have anything for bad dreams, so don't ask. I'm no one special. Until next Just time. a miner who swings a pickaxe with his drinking money. Oh, hello. Is it that time? The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. Yeah, the build would be a lot of fun for sure. Um, do I want to fight vampires? Sure. Where do I sign up? Ezron's going to like you. So I'm gonna end Go up with special Dawn shields. You'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Yeah. Awesomeness. The reforming the Dawn Guard. I literally just talked to the recruiter. Oh, maybe he was talking to you? Okay, uh, do I... S I'll just stay here, I guess. Um, overnight. Yeah, I was try I was debating whether or not to go back to Legendary Edition so that I so that I can do that build, or if there's a way to kind of recreate it in Special Edition. Shield in the Veil. It's not uh, Oriole's shield, is it? Hello there, sir. I work steel, weapons mostly. Okay. Seems like no one is um, buy all of my junk. I have so much. Here, take this. Take, I'll sell you the heaviest stuff first, I guess. That, that, that. I don't know how much money he's got, but... Oh, he's quite wealthy, actually. Take two of those. Yeah, nice. Okay, got rid of a ton of weight. Yeah, Aureal Shield is cool. So is the um, the Rune Shield that's part of Dawn Guard. That's a nice one. Um, 
The Solitude Guard Shield is nice. It has uh, resist magic on it. And of course, uh, Spellbreaker is, it looks kind of screwy, but um, it is fairly powerful. Okay. So you got that all done. Um, let's break down some leather. I don't think this guy has a... No. It's like very, very limited. He has no... No. No workbench, no grindstone. That's unfortunate. Alright, so I... Can I not improve anything? I don't have enough stuff. Need iron for that. Hmm. I need a lot of iron for this stuff. Bone mold. Need ten... Oh, I could really... Oh, netch leather. I don't have any netch leather. I should really make this, though. Just... Just for the fun of it. Because I've never... I've never done bone mold mo bone bone mold armor before, and it's pretty potent. It's a little bit, well, it's a little bit better than this. It's not. It's not. Oh, it's actually slightly better than steel armor too. What do you know? Oh, there's a grindstone by the inn. Thank you. Bone mold. So I need bone meal. Can I buy netch leather from this guy? Probably not. Hey, curse. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Yeah, no netch leather. Damn. That's too bad. I mean, I can improve the stuff I've got if I can find myself a, a workbench. Okay, there's the grindstone. Mm. I don't. Don't see a workbench though. I wonder what happened with this this wolf. Oh, don't pull out your weapon. That was a mistake. Barracks. I mean, I guess there's a chance they have. Have it in the barracks? Hmm. Alright, whatever. Let's just head back to some other civilization. Maybe I can pick up Netch Leather somewhere. I mean, I could just spawn it, I guess. Carriages to Aldous. Where do you want to go? Let's go to White Run, I guess. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Climbing back, and we'll be off. Never been to White Run before? The Jarl's Palace is something to see. Dragon Search, they call it. Big old dragon skull hanging on the wall. How are things going with you, Curse? As you can see, I am attempting to uh, recreate the turtle build with Ordinator, Imperius, and Andromeda. A little bit of a different flavor than the vanilla build. More damaging, but uh, not quite as robust, I guess you could say. Oh, good to hear. Alright, so let's see what we can do as far as improving things. So we got, uh, if we have steel, we can improve those, and corundum. Oh, I can, I can improve that a little bit. 
decide. So I need three steel ingots. Have you met my father? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Give me three of those. Do you have Oh, you do have Orcalcum. Nice. Take one of those. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. That's some good armor. Put together. Whoops. Nope. Yeah, improve that. Nice. That didn't actually level up my smithing at all. That's a shame. Do that, and then we'll just craft up some junk so that we can level up. Um, no bracers, helmet, bracers, I guess. There we go. Oh, man, it's been so long since I did much smithing. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Iron helmet. Can I not improve that? All right then. I just need iron. It's fine. I, my father, more with you think all the the finest weapons and armor. Take my leave then. Need something? Well, it didn't level up quite as fast as I imagined. The next one. Oh, you can improve them more. Twice as much steel and bone mold, twice as much. And all items improve 10% more. Okay. I need to... I don't know. I need... Um, oh, I've got more stuff to sell too. Oh, so much. Got a bunch of that stuff. Got a bunch of food. I got one piece of bone meal. Yes. Okay, you give me yes. your iron. Finest weapons and armor. I think I need, um. Yeah, strips and iron. Yep. Okay. No problem. Break down the leather. And do the good old iron dagger thing. Nope, oh, nope, not that. Nope. Now we can do level two. Still don't have enough for that though, so we can't do the next level of stuff, but that's okay. So I need to go up. Mm, uh, Orkish. Okay. Orkish. It's funny that Orkish isn't listed under Merrick. Need something? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Take all my iron daggers, please. Thank you. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Still can only improve it to fine. That's too bad. But one day. Can I just use this for a moment, please? Thank you. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can actually do it to superior. Wow. Let's do the, uh, the armor. Sweet. Uh, give me some more steel if you have it. Just two. Should be fine. Until next time. I need corundum for that. And that can only be you think all the yeah, I can't improve that more. 
his alone? I don't think I improved that more either. They, I guess they don't fall under. It's too bad they didn't. They didn't boost iron. Like you know, the basic. The basic perk in smithing should affect iron more than just ten percent. That's really too bad. That was a bit of an oversight, I think. Both in the original game and in Ordinator. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. Just need to use the washroom. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. And there's Nazim, just as we were discussing earlier. <sighs> Can a hundred Nazims defeat a dragon? That's the real question. Okay, I will sell off more stuff. Keep those just in case. I'll keep some of those too. Don't need that. Don't really care about those. I'm not going to use these. Let's be honest. I will keep the vegetable soup just in case. I don't know what honeycomb does. I know it's fairly rare. Restore stamina. Okay. And that damaged my stamina. <laughs> Great. Okay. Let me know if you see anything you like. Everything's trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Definitely take. Ooh, that's that's most of your money. Wow, you really don't have a lot of money. And you're you're now out. Okay. Do you have anything that I want to buy? Not there. Not there. I guess I could buy some healing potions. Because I still have stuff I want to get rid of. Hmm. Yeah, it's always good to have a cure disease potion around. Yeah, you can take those. And no. There's that. You don't quite have enough, but yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> <Do you come laughs> back? 
Send him to the real cloud district. Have you ever been to the cloud districts? Have you faced a dragon? All right. Leveled up. That's nice. A little bit more stamina. Can't level up smithing anymore at the moment. Can't level up that either. We're at 40. Ah, these need, need 60 for those. I need 60 for that. All right. Yeah, I really do need to level up smithing more. I need to get my gear, my epic gear, man. Yeah. All right. Let's you know go kill some bandits. Shall we go kill us some bandits? I'm trying to remember now. One of the I, I can't remember if it's a standing stone or a race ability that gives you faster movement speed in combat because the steed I have the steed stone which gives you more um, more speed while out of combat so I would imagine it's a standing stone that does the opposite I'm wondering if that would be more beneficial than what I have One hit. Shadowstone. Thank you, human. That is good to know. Is that another afflicted? Kind of looks that way. Well, we're in combat. There's only a level one. Wow. He was... He was winding up on me. Oh! Wow, I actually killed him with a shield bash. Take that. Shall we fight this guy and for change? Usually we don't. You're dead. Somebody get down here. Help. Oh, he's good. Well, he's already dead. Oh, and she shield back. Wow, they were not as tough as I was expecting. Okay. Fair enough. And these guys, of course, don't come to help. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> That's trouble. Hmm. Who's there? Hey, somebody get down here. Help! Yeah, bland, uh, a bland, a blind, um, a blind bandit? You guys are really... Uh, 
the blind beggars are barely making making a go of it in the in like solitude. Then again, you know this guy did pretty well for he did he did damn well for uh, for himself fighting me there. No, still don't have anything to spend stuff on. Oh my goodness, I need to regenerate health. Whew. Let's turn this into a bit of a kill zone here. You're missing. That went much better. He's a nobleman? I didn't know that. Hey, a steel helmet. I will take that. And that's actually better than my improved iron. Nice. Sure. That works for me. Okay. Oh. That guy just blood to death. You deal with them. You're gonna bleed to death. Ow. I should have uh, taken a moment to regenerate my health and things. Oh, nice. Take that, take that, and... Yeah, these look way better, in my opinion. Ooh, dwarven boots. I don't really want to pick up the beacon. Oh, dwarven stuff starting to show up. That's <laughs> this helmet looks terrible on an on a uh, Argonian as well. <laughs> that is so goofy. Looks like a little beanie. Um, okay, so that is not as good as what I've got, but it looks better, in my opinion. I gotta smith them up. Could put dwarven boots, but that would look really stupid. Yeah. I don't know. I just... I mean, I guess, I guess the, I can't, I guess I can't go over his, uh, his horns. Uh, the sunset, yeah, I'm using, um, obsidian weathers. So, it does make it look a little, it's really quite, it's quite a nice weather mod. And it makes the sky look amazing, too, like, 
So these clouds look like photographs. One thing that does not look very good is the uh, the LODs. I've never really been able to get LODs to work properly. I don't know if it's something to do with my video card. I've, it's the same thing with ENBs. I've never been able to get an ENB to run on my video card. I don't know. I, I assume it's just the video card because it's not Skyrim because I did try uh, running ENBs on Oblivion as well. That didn't work either. Shall we just gaze at the beautiful sky together? It's like, uh, I don't know if you, any of you watched uh, Gopher's Mod Rambles, but he's like, he's just walking through Skyrim, blathering. He's like, maybe I should have streamed this. I, I really think he should have actually streamed that. I would, that would have been really cool. Cause he, you know, he'd be chit chatting with the, with chat. Yeah. And, oh. Okay. Maybe I do need to take those cushioned, uh, cushioned perks. Yeah, he definitely should have done a stream. That would have been, he was like, oh no, it'll be silly and blah. But I think, I think it would have been, been great. Oh. Oh, the sun's gone now. Just fell behind. Actually, it'd be it'd be kind of cool watching the sunset over Dragon's Reach, too. Yeah, he was thinking that the stream would be really strange, but you know what? Cryotic streams himself editing his videos, and those streams get more views than the videos themselves. Sometimes you just don't know what's going to uh, appeal to people. And even to get to get good um, good performance out of an ENB, you need a fairly beefy video card anyway, right? Wow, how is he getting so many bites on me? Do I have any diseases? No. I'm still in combat with something over there. I am thinking seriously about getting a 1660 uh, GTX though. I mean, they are the same price as the 1060s were, but they're more powerful than the 1070s and almost as powerful as the 2070s. For like half the price. Two hundred gold if you want to use our road. That's a real shame. Gonna make it I haven't upgraded like anything on my on my PC in years. Oh, she's she's going down. Yeah. Man, you gotta love that bleed damage for this build. Oh, that is a nice... That is a nice pair of gauntlets for this build. You know, they're not gonna look right, but... Um, I'm gonna have to wear those. Yes, indeed. Ow.
I'm just gonna let her wear out her uh, supply of uh, ammo. It's kind of boring, but hey. Yeah, if I throw the, throw the boots on, it should be good. Ooh, that was close. Let's try blocking. No, she didn't hit me anyway. And there we go. No more ammo. Oh, stack that bleed damage. That is brutal. Ow. Oh, where did he go? No, nobody else coming. Neither of those guys are... Actually, there should be three enemies still over there. Am I wearing... I mean, do I have the boots? I do. Hey, there we go. Okay, let's see how that looks. Is that, uh... Ugh, I don't... I really don't like dwarven boots. Actually, all the dwarven armor is just too... Eh. Too bulky. I don't know. I mean, I guess that makes sense for heavy armor, but come on. It's a bit excessive. Should we fight right here in the stairwell? You're as good as death. Arm injury and death. is just brutal just just timed blocks and and the odd dagger strike and just stacking all that bleed Oof. it's rough especially when you're one-on-one -on -one. when you have multiple enemies it is a bit of a struggle Yeah, I was, um, watched a little bit of somebody playing Oblivion the other day, and I'm like, oh, man, I should go back and play that again. Hey, Maxim. Cheers from Ukraine. Furious Strength. Do we want to add, that's power attack damage. Hmm, not really. Not really for this build. And we're still a long way off from those. We do have level 50 in armor, though. So we got Born to Fight. Um, oh, yeah. Armor weighs half as much, slows you down half as much. Definitely. Revel in Battle. Increase weapon damage by 3% for 10 seconds. Oh, that's for Defiance. So Defiance... Whenever an enemy attacks you, you gain 15 points of armor. And this one gives you 3% more weapon damage. Hmm. That's tempting. I'm going to hold off on it for right now, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, block that. Oh. Oh, it's just brutal. Getting too powerful now. Well, for one on one. <laughs> Let's not get cocky. Oh, an elven doll. That's 
but that's worth selling. And bow to smash. Sure. Sounds good. Alright, what's next on the docket? Dark shade? How come I have dark shade on my on my map? That's the place with the uh like it's been overrun by trolls, right? Now if I had a bit more bleed damage, I'd probably not have a problem taking on trolls. Can uh, negate their health regen with bleed. Mm -hmm. Eh, let's go the other way. Clear out the other forts. Oh. Let's wait until morning. I couldn't believe it when I saw that zero period zero period productions played Morrowind a few months back, maybe five, six months ago, something like that. And his first episode had over a hundred thousand views. That's incredibly high for a game that old. And there's a random giant. Mm. Should I try fighting it? Oh, level 32. Uh oh. Let's see if we can just stack the bleed on him. Good block, good block. Hmm, block is now at 50. What does this give us? Take 25% less damage from any direction when blocking in combat. That sounds cool. That sounds like a good uh, crowd control perk. Nargonian does not help the build very much in Oblivion. I guess that's that's true too. You got a lot more um, things that are kind of fixed in Oblivion. You know how Skyrim you can um, the the races are fairly similar. In Oblivion, there's a bit more variation between races and I think between sexes, right? Um, and of course, you have to decide what birth sign you were born under and stick with that. You can't change it like the stones. Oh, look at that bleed. Look at his health dropping. Oh... Wow, nicely done. If I do say so myself, I'll take that. Wow, that bleed is brutal. What? What is it? It's 30 seconds, I think, right? Forty-five seconds. Oh no, that's the next one. So it's one point over 30 seconds, I think. And then the next one is two points for 45 seconds, and then is the last one three points for 60 seconds? Like, holy crap, that's just gonna murder everything. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to legendary, I think. Once we get another point or two into the stuff. I kinda like that. I know, I know it's not exactly uh, politically correct, 
You know, that it's supposed to be like men and women are fully capable of doing all the exact same things in exactly the same way, but I really, it, it makes RPGs boring. I liked the fact that the older RPGs had like different stats. Typically, uh, females were more agile and males were stronger and maybe faster if they if it was based on height. I really like like that whole you know it 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 gives you a lot more to work with as a as a builder. I, I really like this guy's look. His his red beard and stuff, he's like totally got the Viking thing going on. Um, can we Can we not Can you not give me move, maneuver me Oh look at that sunrise? Oh, he is down with a leg injury. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're totally finished. Oh, we got archers like crazy. I just want to see the beautiful sunshine. Oh, that is so bright. Stack that bleed damage, man. Stack it. Go home to your mother. Oh. I've never seen a sun, sun, a sunrise that bright before. Okay, somebody's literally just like hovering over me, peppering me with arrows. I'm trying to enjoy the weather, if you don't mind. Oh, there's another one. It's just these little level ones. Come on. Where, where are you going? There you go. Okay, now is it is it quiet? Okay. Let's get up here and... Ah, it's getting a little bit too high in the sky now. Ah, well... Race diversity is good too. And of course, um, Imperius does do a pretty good job of giving us some race diversity as well, which is really, really nice. Disparity adds differences between the sexes. That's cool. I haven't, uh, I haven't noticed, noticed that mod. I have to check that out. Now. Ow. Ow. Oh, she's. Oh, she cannot. Uh... There we go. That's better. Oh, well, that was close. Speaking of the sexes murdering one another. Yeah, that's too bad that the stuff isn't available on uh and man, it's it's really difficult to get the um I wonder why it's so hard to get the mods working on on uh console. I mean Bethesda basically had to break Skyrim to make mods work on Xbox. Okay, we're slowly creeping up towards the next level of bleed. Uh, we could level that up. I... Yeah, might as well take that. A little bit extra damage. Sure. I'll grab this. I mean, we're... Heading in that direction. What else we got? We also have this at level 70. Move at full speed.
Allies within 10 feet. Boy, they could be close, eh? During a timed block. Oof. I do really want to get smithing up. All right. So we got we got more bandits inside to deal with. I'll take all of that. That's good. Good stuff. Do I want to enter through the main door is the real question. Let me go through and take out this mage first. Oh my goodness, she did a... Wow, two hits and I'm dead. Oof, I need some magic resistance, man. Yee. Definitely could use some magic resistance. Oof. Ah, I'm getting staggered. Really, really bad. Oh, did, did you die? Ah! Oh, who has the one? Oh, there you go. Oh, God! There's just so many of them. Ah, oh, yeah. Back door would probably be a good idea. There's a way to use a PC to get mods onto 360, but yeah, like if you had a PC, you'd just play it on there. <laughs> I guess if you have a real, like a, just a really low end, um, Laptop or something. Oh man, she did so much damage. Ah. Chief. Guys are brutal. Right. Um let's take a few health potions, I guess. Yeah. Let's get closer to the door. Because I want to make an, uh, an exit, a, a hasty retreat, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, there's a something coming around the corner there. Bandit thug, there we go. Got a thug. Oh, he's a level 19 plunderer. Oh! Ah, uh, no. No, oh, let me out of here. <laughs> Cannot take another one. Coming in there. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, the sun and the moon. You really should not be able to see the moon when it's that close to the sun. How? Like, what is what is the moon reflecting? Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Oh, thank you. Now let's try to finish this without dying. Oh, he that that bandit is like tough, man. Oh. Okay, they're coming. Okay, he's done. Bleeding to death. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Staggered. Hmm. So the sun is reflecting off one moon and reflecting to the other moon? I guess. I guess that could be a thing. What? How come I heard two people? Oh! That's an, that's an archer. That's a... Gonna wait for the other guy. Ow! Wish I could uh, reflect arrows, not just deflect them. That would be freaking awesome. I'm gonna wait for that other guy. There we go. Come on, you're stuck. Oh, she ran out of arrows. Plunderer. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight both of you at once. Ah, damn it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something. Ow! I'm stuck on something. I couldn't move backwards. Ah. It's a good thing that they can't follow you out the door. Because man, a lot of these fights would not go well. Oh, did she actually bleed to death? I think she did. How do you like that? Okay, the, the other guy should be upstairs? Question mark? Huh? I can hear him. What? Light armor, that's not all that useful. Well, I'll take all that. Okay, he's like here and yet not here. Hello? Who's there? Huh? Where is he hiding? He's gonna, I'm gonna come around the corner and he's gonna be suddenly there, isn't he? There we go. Hey, yoo-hoo, I'm right here. You can take me. Let's do this. That's all you've got. Oh God, what? One hit? One hit? <sighs> okay. Huh. One hit. Damn, one missed block and I'm done. Oh, really? Put a put an NPC in the in the dungeon. That's cool. Okay, we are in combat. Come on. that health magic health regen thing well almost at 60 for heavy armor and I need six more for that oh all right well I mercifully put him out of his misery okay anything uh, interesting on these guys not really Did I get everybody? Oh! 
That could have been bad. Hello. I just cook and clean and do whatever it is they ask of me. Cool. Quest line behind him as well. Yeah, I always liked your uh, choice of mods, Curse. Every time I watch one of your, um, you know, your build spotlight showcase videos, I'm like, man, I gotta get that mod. All right, well, uh, that's that for that section. I mean, we got pretty far along. I think I'm gonna have to wrap up the stream, though. Yeah, don't quite have the look down, eh? <laughs> Not the original look, but I think this, this build is going, going quite well. Uh, and I think it's gonna end up being an absolute monster with the perks in Ordinator. But uh, even in vanilla, it worked pretty well. Uh, so if you guys don't have any mods and you like the looks of how this played out, you can check out the original build in the description. And it's just called The Turtle. And uh, yeah, hope you have some fun with that. And we'll see you in the next stream or the next uh, video. I guess I'll be releasing the build video for this probably on the weekend. That's usually usually what I try to do. And thank you, for everybody, for joining me today. Really appreciate uh, the support, and it was fun talking to you guys. It was a lot more fun than uh, yesterday's stream that was taken over by, by bots that were swearing at me. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't too, too fun. And, uh, Candace, let me know what else you, uh, you try in Oblivion with this, this build, if you do more with it. That sounds like a cool idea. I do miss playing Oblivion too sometimes. There was cool things you could do in that. Like become 100% invisible all the time. A heavy hood is an interesting idea. That would be kind of cool looking, eh? Hmm. Maybe even one of the Dragon Priest masks could be cool, too. Yeah, Orcish does end up looking pretty good, and he does kind of look, you know, as turtle-ish as you can, I think, in Skyrim. Anyway, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will talk to you later.